Lion vs Crocodile Interesting topic, isn't it? Lion and Crocodile are both apex predators and stand at the top of the food chain in wildlife. In this video, these two dangerous predators are going to be compared. We will see who will win and who will lose. Before starting the video, let me tell you people that I am not an expert and this is only a comparison between these two creatures and anything can happen in real life, death battle. Now without further any ado, let's start the battle. I present to you Lion vs Crocodile. Introduction On one side of the ring, we have the crocodiles. Crocodiles are large semi-aquatic reptiles that can be found throughout the tropics in Africa, Asia, the Americas and Australia. Here we are not including alligators and the gharials because although they appear similar, crocodiles, alligators and the gharial belong to separate biological families. The word crocodile comes from the ancient Greek word crocodilos which means lizard. Across the world, crocodiles can be found in various forms in religions. In ancient Egypt, we can find Sobek, the crocodile-headed god, with his cult city Crocodilopolis, as well as Tawereth, the goddess of childbirth and fertility, with the back and tail of a crocodile. The Jukun Shrine in the Wukari Federation, Nigeria is dedicated to crocodiles in thanks for their aid during migration. In Madagascar, various pupils such as the Sakalava and Anthandroi see crocodiles as ancestor spirits and often offer them food. Crocodiles appear in different forms in Hinduism. Varun, a Vedic and Hindu god of the seas, justice and truth, rides a part crocodile Makara. Makara is a legendary sea creature in Hindu mythology. His consort Varuni rides on the back of crocodile. Similarly, the goddess personifications of the Ganga and Yamuna rivers are often depicted as riding at the back of crocodiles. In Latin America, Sapectli was the giant earth crocodile of the Aztec and other Nahua pupils. On the other side of the ring, we have the lions. The lions are the second largest member in the cat family, just after the tiger. The lion is an apex predator. Typically, the lion inhibits grasslands and savannas but is absent in dense forests. It is usually more diurnal than other big cats but persecuted it adapts to being active at night and at twilight. In the Pleistocene, which is often colloquially referred to as the Ice Age, the lion ranged throughout Eurasia, Africa and North America. But now, today, it has been reduced to fragmented population in sub-Saharan Africa and one critically endangered population in western India. The lion is one of the most widely recognized animal symbols in human culture. It has been extensively depicted in sculptures and paintings, on national flags, and in contemporary films and literature. It appeared as a symbol for strength and nobility in cultures across Europe, Asia, and Africa. The lion has been depicted as king of the jungle and thus became a popular symbol for royalty. The ancient Egyptians portrayed several of their war deities as lionesses which 
they referred as fierce hunters. Egyptian deities associated with lions include Sekhmet, Bast, Mafdet, Menhit, Pakhet, and Tefnet. The lion was a prominent symbol in ancient Mesopotamia from Sumer up to Assyrian and Babylonian times, where it was strongly associated with kingship. Lions were among the major symbols of the goddess Ishtar in ancient Mesopotamia. Narasimha, the man lion, is one of the ten avatars of the Hindu god Vishnu. The lion capital of Ashoka erected by Emperor Ashok in the 3rd century CE depicts four lions standing back to back. It was made the national emblem of India in 1950. A sword-wielding lion is the central figure on the national flag of Sri Lanka. There are so many depictions and myths of lions that if I try to include all of them then the video will become too long. Description The lion is called the king of all the animals in jungle because of its strength and haughty expressions. Like all the cats, a lion has a sleek and muscular body with deep chest. They have powerful jaws with sharp teeth and powerful claws. Their sense of hearing is very sharp. Hunting of animals is carried out by females and sometimes lion help too if the prey is too powerful. Lions also steal and eat the animals that are killed by hyenas and other predators. They are social animals and live in groups called prides. Their diet generally consists of large animals like gazelles, antelopes, buffaloes, wildebeests, zebras, and other ungulates. The color of their coat varies from light buff to silvery gray, yellowish red, and dark brown. The colors of the underparts are generally lighter. The lion is the only member of the cat family that displays obvious sexual dimorphism. Males have broader heads and a prominent mane covering most of their head, neck, shoulder, and chest. The mane is typically brownish and tinged with yellow, rust, and black hairs. But there are white lions too who look very beautiful and awesome. The tails of all lions end in a dark hairy tuft. Unlike lions, crocodiles are cold-blooded animals and their family includes the largest among all the living reptiles. They have extremely long and narrow snout and weak legs. Crocodiles usually live in rivers, lakes, and swamps. The biggest among crocodiles is the Asturian crocodile, also known as Salty. The smallest crocodile is the Congo dwarf whose fully matured once measures only a meter to maximum 1.9 meter. Crocodile's diet includes fish, birds, and mammals. They lay eggs in clutches of up to 95 and after laying eggs, the female take care of the eggs and protect them from predators. Now many people get confused between alligators, crocodiles, gharials, and caimans. So to identify a crocodile, we have to observe some important features. The most obvious external differences are visual in the head, with crocodiles having narrower and longer heads with a more V-shaped than a U-shaped snout compared to alligators and caimans. Another apparent trait is that the upper jaw and lower jaw of a crocodile is of the same width and the teeth in the lower jaw fall along the edge or outside the upper jaw when the mouth is closed. 
therefore all teeth are visible unlike an alligator whose upper jaw have small depressions into which the lower teeth fit also when a crocodile closes its mouth its large fourth tooth in the lower jaw fits into constrictions in the upper jaw crocodiles are the most aggressive and angry among the crocodilians size crocodiles sizes greatly varies among species from the dwarf crocodiles to the saltwater crocodile the largest species the saltwater crocodile can grow to sizes over 7 meter and can weigh 1000 kg males grow much larger and more rapidly than females in lion's case lions head to body length excluding their 1 meter long tail is 1.84 to 2.08 meter like crocodiles lion are larger and heavier than lionesses they can weigh up to 225 kg and sometimes even more bite force now in case of lion's bite force i have seen 650 psi in almost all places but in one of my earlier videos lion versus tiger comment section some comments said that it's greater than 650 psi so after some research i found an article by national geographic whose link is in the description it says that lions generate around 1000 psi it can be even more because not every lion is of the same strength it is also written here that salt water crocodiles bite force is around 3700 psi according to their calculations the extinct crocodile species dinosuchus also known as terrible crocodile was the size of a limousine and its bite force was as high as 23100 psi greater than even t-rex's bite force of 12814 psi hunting lion hunts in groups hunting is generally done by lionesses but sometimes lions join to hunt strong prey they are social animals and are very intelligent when plenty of food is available lions gorge themselves into near immobility at this times an average male swallows around 15% of their body weight food is shared grudgingly the smallest and weakest lions often have to stay hungry lions have master degree in group hunting on the other hand we have crocodiles recent studies have found that crocodiles are very intelligent they are capable of advanced parental care the mothers take care of their eggs for up to 3 months the mothers wait nearby and protect their eggs from other predators they have complex communication and can use tools for hunting they are ambush predators due to slow metabolism they eat much less frequently than warm blooded animals and can stay a great amount of time without eating generally they can go for a few months without food and in extreme cases they can go up to 3 years without food crocodiles and alligators were observed conducting highly organized game drives there is a link in the description where you can go to a research article on crocodile hunting behaviors there are many incidents and examples given there about crocodile hunting style in one of those it has been observed that crocodiles would swim in a circle around a shoal of fish gradually making the circle tighter and tighter until the fish were forced into a tight bait bowl 
then the crocodiles would take turns cutting across the center of the circle, snatching the fish. Fight If these two creatures fight each other, the result can be anything. It all depends on many factors among which the location of the fight is the most important for the outcome. If the fight happens in water, then no one can save the lion because a crocodile is a personification of death in water. A crocodile can easily kill a lion in water. It would bite the lion with a deadly bite force and drag the lion underwater. This will make the lion low on oxygen. He will become desperate for air. Then the crocodile will use its ultimate move, the death roll. Death roll is a spinning maneuver which involves rapid rotation about the longitudinal axis of the body. The incident like this may happen if the fight happens in water. Now I tried to imagine what may be the result if it happens on land. This may happen like this. A crocodile is just chilling and relaxing near a river under the sun. It is a nice day with birds chirping on the trees, hippos bathing and doing their things, a few butterflies sitting on mud, a lion hiding in the bushes. Wait, what? We see a big male lion hiding in the bushes, watching the crocodile with hungry eyes. It is hungry and the crocodile looks like a nice meal. The lion suddenly pounces on the crocodile but there is a problem. The many countless sharp teeth of the crocodile. But the lion is smart. He knows that the crocodile can't jump like him and is not swift enough on land. The lion evades all of the crocodile's attacks and continues to evade them. After some time, the crocodile starts to feel tired due to the build up of lactic acid in its muscles. Crocodile's tiny legs can't keep up with the lions, dodge an attack tactic for too long and gets tired. Now the lion decides to attack the crocodile's soft part. It climbs on the crocodile's back and attacks the backside of its neck. The lion have already blinded the crocodile by its previous attacks. After killing the crocodile, the lion drags it back a bit far from the river and starts eating. While eating it thinks, good thing it was not one of those who smelled like salt. Conclusion So the conclusion of this is, if the crocodile is able to bite the lion, then it's game over for the lion because strongest bite force in animal kingdom. It all depends on the size of the lion, whether it is in group or alone. How big is the crocodile, the location of the fight, the species of the crocodile. Because a saltwater crocodile, a big one, is too big and powerful for a lion and even if a few lions and their prides together can kill a salty, I think they will avoid it for some other easier prey. On land, a lion's chances to win is very high but in water, crocodile wins. If a crocodile can drag a lion under water then rest in peace lion. So this was it. There may be many things missing in this video but the main thing is that both of them are apex predators and very powerful and both are facing threats from human activities. If you have liked the video then press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. If you have new and interesting info then you can write it in the comment section where we can discuss about animals discussions and talks will increase our knowledge knowledge is power i will meet you amazing people in my next video so take care everyone and best of luck